Just look at those temperatures. Got to move in this. A lot of you are probably thinking that that's not much, but that that humidity is not too bad for here because usually that's up around the 80 to not like you'll be around the 80 but like it's that's inside here and that's outside so it's it's hot it's hot here because of the humidity enough of me whinging about that anyways currently we are moving we're in the middle of moving everything over to the new house and basically oh that's the scroller box I'm yet to do yeah I just wanted to show everybody my current situation where I do my art what my what my art studio is right now and then when I get over to the new house then set it up over there and then show you basically a setting up studio vlog I'm gonna be sharing my art space with my partner's office so because the office is quite big and doesn't have any carpets just got lino like this in there and my partner's worried and even I'm worried that I'm going to spill paint everywhere so we don't want the carpets oh yeah just ignore that we had we had a good night the other night celebrating the house <laughs> settling I'll try not to show you too much of this granny flag because it's an absolute mess at the moment but we currently me and my partner currently live in a seven meter by three meter granny flat and the beds over there as you can see kitchens here god the plates are a mess please ignore that that's where we eat and I do everything my art supplies are there that's the TV here just behind here is the bathroom so this is all in a seven meter granny flat so I do all my art pieces here this is my um, this is this is my filming setup which I've already done a video on this um, which I'll have a I'll have a link up in the top right here if you want to actually go and have a look at that um, that's a new scroll that's November scroller box but all this is is just I've just put this board on some core flute and just put it on top of the table this is my art supplies this is where most of this is where the most used art supplies are I've got it's a bit of a mess in here there's my monster animal mashup bags my palettes just some paper towels all my pens and my paint brushes and all my main watercolors are up here with my pigment microns water the swatch and the thermometer for outside and inside temperatures and then the rest of it is over in this complete monstrosity over here this is my bedside table um which is just a mess because uh, i like to sit in bed and draw a lot of things so I've got everything there and then the rest of it all my papers and archive stuff and like I can't wait to clean this up like this is just a complete mess and a temporary mess and it's been a temporary mess for four years um, this is usually a lot cleaner because I am I believe it or not I am a clean person but this looks like an absolute shit fight at the moment because of the move and me just not really caring about a lot of things so this is what we're leaving we're leaving five acres on my parents property um, the neighbors are not very close and we are going to a three-quarter acre house just three minutes up the road which is quite close uh, you just jump out on the highway because the highway is just there um, over well it's, it's right over there three minutes up the highway and we're at the new house oh look how dirty that window is this is the view I get from my kitchen window and my seven by three meter granny flat so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna miss I'm gonna miss this granny flat that's for sure 
I'm going to definitely miss it. Um, it's been nice and cute and cozy for four years. Um, but yeah, it's time for me and my partner to get our own lives and uh, yeah, have our own house instead of living in this very tiny little room. Okay, so we're finally in the new house and it's a complete mess. But there's some of my art supplies that I need to put downstairs. So downstairs, which is a bit of a hike to get to the office. Um, if we go down here. Mess. So we walk up this hallway. And this is the office slash art room. And it doesn't look like it on the camera, but there is a lot of light coming through here. So this is really good. So I don't have to use the lamp. And yes, I'm still keeping this monstrosity of a, <laughs> of a uh, camera holder because um, after throwing all the money into the house, I've got none left. And my dad broke the tube on my light so i took that as a sign that i don't need the lamp anymore so my computer setup is there i've got my dual monitors uh, more of a mess and this is supposed to be my table that i'll be working on um, i'll be doing all my drawings on here so it brings in the light and i have got a nice pool to look at so because we've got a pool which is really good and yeah this is where I'm going to be doing everything so what I'm going to be doing now is going and getting my um, like the the floor slats that I use that I've got on the core flute that's my signature background and going to be laying this end of the table with that flooring so I still have my background that I always have and this side will have my laptop on it right here um, so that'll go over here and then i've got to clean out some of these drawers so they'll hold some things but most of my art supplies like this is what i love about this house and it's both it's the same on both sides these these are all i've got some crap in there um, but this is what i love this is this is my favorite Look at that. It was designed for art. Wow. Look at that. I nearly fell over when I saw that. I thought that was so cool. I'm not sure what else is going to go in here, but I've got to get some more stuff from my parents' house. And I'm thinking of putting a cube set up there. And... Yeah, when I get shit sorted, I will eventually do a time lapse of this room of me putting everything away and then I'll give you the tour afterwards. Okay, so I got another addition to my art corner. So I can put all the stuff that I mainly use in there. So, um, me and my partner were talking last night and this is only going to be a temporary sort of solution for the moment because it does hang so far over this door. It looks like shit. Um, and when we have guests over to jump in the pool, it's, yeah, it's not, it's not really great. So, um, this is a basically, um, to be continued uh yeah i will probably do another one next year sometime when i get all this organized and better and yeah
Okay, so I finally packed everything away. And this isn't going to be an exciting uh, room tour because it's something that that I'm sharing. It's not a complete room for myself. It's an office and an art room for me and my partner. And I've basically just got a corner and another part over there for my art, which, hey, I'm not complaining. Basically, please excuse the mess. That is the office room there. That's my corner. I've got some of my shit in there. And that's also some of my shit. I've got to pack that away. God knows where I'm going to put that, but that's for another day. Um, okay, so. So what I've done is I've got my little bin. I've just put my uh, scroller box skateboard there. Um, I put that sign there. And this shelf is going to be my watercolors that I use the most. And as you can see, that's my watercolor range right there. And then the next shelf <laughs> um, is going to just be um, other bits and pieces that I use a lot of or just that I'm going to use like this little accordion book that I got from Violet Connie Art. Next one down is just for now, it's got my markers, my alcohol markers and my monster animal mashup bags there. So my desk is, I've got my little notebook there, which I write a lot of my notes in as I go, as I remember stuff. I've got my um, tripod. Then I've got just white gel pens and markers and I've got pens and liners, fine liners, lead pencils, paint brushes, but I did put them in there. So, but that's mainly for paint brushes and I use my skull. Like this is a soup bowl, but I don't think I'll ever use it as a soup bowl. So what better way to put it to use than to put my paint brushes in it. So I bought that like, years ago probably 10 years ago so I got my laptop for references and my blow dryer this here I'll put it here just I don't know what I'm gonna put in it but it's just got my paper towels I'll find a use for it but I think it'll be good there then I've got my <laughs> my dodgy ass set up there the plan is to hopefully this year get a camera a proper camera and tripod set up so i can get rid of this and i don't have to have these legs here and then i can just have it coming up over there that's the plan so i've got my board this is my makeshift board the plan is to is to go and get more of this and actually stick them down across that whole section there so I don't have this here. And this can be a makeshift one if I decide to go and draw somewhere else. So that is where I'll be doing all my art and all my drawings. And then I've got the view out there of the pool and of Barry cleaning the pool. That's Barry, he's the pool cleaner. This chair here will come over. It's currently at the desk, but it will be shared over there from <laughs> to here, there, then dragged over here. That's my partner's area. That's his computer. That's my computer there. And then the rest of my art comes out into here, into these drawers, which this one's, this one's kind of art, but it's mainly just books and my tarot cards. Um, well, my not tarot cards, but they're similar. And just bits and pieces that just I wanted to shove in there. And then this one here is the extension. Like, oh, one thing I forgot to show you over here is this is all my main paper that I use and my wet wipes because they are really good for getting watercolor off of tables and it doesn't matter what it is what color it will those alcohol wipes right there will get them off so now this here is all my folders of all my archived work 
and sketch finished sketchbooks are up the back there and then this is just um, plain sketch uh, notebooks that I just haven't used yet next shelf down is just paper that I don't use a lot of but it is down there and that fell over and there's a palette and there's my carbon paper and what I love about this is I love these drawers so this is just bits and pieces that I don't use all the time but I will be using from time to time um, just you know the Copics and and these and you know the oil paints and just all the scroller box stuff that but that I don't use a huge amount will end up in here and then stuff like it the scroller box I'll use a lot of will go over there so that's drawer number one drawer number two's just got me pastels pencils pearlescence my true watercolors um, and the scroller box gouache this is just a paper drawer. This is where it all just shit goes. Um, scrap paper that I don't want to throw, but you know, I've got nowhere else to put it. And then this drawer is just another shit drawer, really, just to put my acrylic paints in, just a whole heap of just miscellaneous textures and pencils and whatnot. And that there, I've still got to do a video on these twistables by Mont Marty. So look forward to that one day when I pull my finger out and uh, do that. So yeah, that is my art room tour for now. Um, a lot of this will change eventually. And when it does, I'll give you an update when it does change. But for now, and it's probably gonna stay like this for a while, that is my workspace I've got natural light coming in I don't need this anymore it doesn't have a bulb in it anymore because when we moved it smashed and I'm not going to replace it because I've got this lovely natural light here so that that is it that's that's the tour I don't know how exciting this was <laughs> but there it is that's my new art room in an, in the new house and yeah, I'm going to go and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Look, Barry, he's cleaning the pool.